Turn to live stream the meeting. All right, it did something. It might even send, I might have to shut this one down and start all over again. Meeting is now streaming live on YouTube, but I think it was always streaming live because I'm able to see it on my phone. I just, I, I only see you though. Okay, I'm going to have to end this one. Guys, if you're getting that other one, go on that one. You want me to get off of here? No, no, no. You're probably going to have to shoot me another link. No, you're on. Okay. It's a different video. So shut that down and it sent you a new link on YouTube. Not, 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 not the Zoom. Don't shut the Zoom down. Right. So do I need to do anything or you... No, I don't think so. I think everybody else needs to. They need to log back in. Let's see. Oh, yeah. People are jumping in now. Oh, okay. All right, guys. Are you guys jumping in now? This is a new one. Now you can see us. Yeah, people are saying, oh, yeah, this one works. What's going on, gentlemen? They see you. Okay, All right. Here we go. <laughs> Let me see if I can pull that up. All right, they're popping in. That had me nervous, man. <laughs> I'll tell you, this technology yeah. master is really taking us by storm, isn't it? Oh, yeah. There we are. Okay. So now I'm going to go on my phone so I can see what people are saying. Okay. Yeah. Now, and, now I see. Okay. You see it now? Yes. Yes. Can How's anybody, everybody doing? Can, can, can everybody hear me though? Yeah. Yeah. They see it. They see us. They hear us. Okay. All right. Put this right there. Yeah, now, yeah, now. There it is. Look, well, too bright. But yeah, there we are. Yeah, yeah, I got you. All right. Now we can get down to business. <laughs> so, number one, it's always good to talk to you, brother. Likewise. It's always good to, uh, you know, we don't see each other in person often enough, mm -hmm. you know, but um, I appreciate the fact that you uh, coming out of your sabbatical. And I want to talk about that first of all, before we get into the the juicy stuff of uh, your new challenge. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, sure. let the world know where I, I have heard rumors that there's a milk carton with your face on it saying oh. that you are missing. Yeah. So where have you been? Let us know. The whole world wants to know. Uh, well, if you guys want to know where I've been, just talk to Pastor David, because you and I, Pastor, we've, we've kept in contact pretty good. So, um, you know, I, I, I'm not Catholic. I don't practice Catholicism. Shouts to all the Catholics out there. You know, I'm not speaking bad about the religion or in, in any shape or form or anything. But one thing that I do like, and I, like I dropped a video today saying that, hey, I'm back on YouTube. And I said, I shouldn't call it Lent if I'm not Catholic and practicing Catholicism. But one thing that I do do every year is when during that time, I do like to give something up. I just, I, I like the challenge and I want to challenge everybody to do it, whether it's that time, whether it's another time, pick 40 days, some other time in the year and give something up, you know, something that's going to be challenging for you. Don't set yourself up for failure, but sometimes it'd be challenging for you. And like I told you, Pastor, that for one reason or another, we, you and I had a private conversation. Yeah. And I talked to you about it. And I said, for one reason or another, in the month of December, 
I don't remember when in December, but I had thought about it like, hey, what am I going to give up this time around? And just like a snap of a finger, yeah, it's just YouTube, YouTube, hmm. give it up. Give, so you were you were fasting up. from YouTube. <laughs> I I also gave up some foods. I, I gave up sweet. Yeah. Oh wow, that's a hard one. Yeah, yeah, I gave I gave up sweet. So do you have a I'm sweet tooth? Or you, do you like sweet stuff or? Um, I'm not too much of a sweet tooth guy. Okay. I, had, I okay. I had given it up before, and I yeah. realized how difficult it actually truly is. Even though I don't have much of a sweet tooth, because you could just be somewhere and there's a cookie right there, and it, uh, yeah, you want a cookie? Like yeah, you you don't realize how much sweets you actually eat, right? Even though you don't have a sweet tooth. I went to a few birthday parties. Never couldn't even take a bite of the cake, right? Yeah. Um, no cookies, no donuts, no pan dulce, no uh snicker bars, no anything like that. And I don't think people realize, even if you're not a sweet junkie, I don't think people realize how difficult and challenging it actually still is because. I remember one time I gave up bread, 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 and that that was that that was tough. I that I actually yeah. I actually uh, failed on that one. Well, not failed, but I ate McDonald's the the biscuit um, sausage sandwich, and it wasn't until later that day I'm like, hey, what did I eat earlier today? And I said, <laughs> oh, it had bread in it. <laughs> no, it was bread. So, <laughs> It's more of that kind of challenge of just being aware that yeah. staying away from it is probably not as challenging, but just being aware of yeah. it, that's the challenging part. So that's that answers where you have been. You haven't been hiding. You haven't been scared. You haven't been uh, <laughs> running away. You haven't been a Jonah running away from Nineveh. And get swallowed up by fish. No fish swallowed you up and brought you back to LA or nothing like that, right? No, no, no. Okay. No, no fish swallow. If if uh, if that ever <laughs> does happen, believe me, I'll be on YouTube screaming about it. So, and and you know, I I enjoy doing um yeah too. I I really do. I, I disciplines enjoy. are good, brother. Disciplines are good. Yeah, I I yeah. enjoy I I enjoy doing YouTube. I I really do. Um. When I first got on YouTube, it was um, it was really just kind of to look back at myself and see, you know, um, honestly, you know, to be real with you guys, with, with everybody, my sons had lost respect for me um, before I got on YouTube. Um, and that hurt. You know, it hurt because of my full. You're talking about before, like when you first started YouTube? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I remember um, my oldest son cried and he didn't want to be around me anymore. And that's where I was like, you know what? Something's got to mm -hmm. give, man. So I, I thought I'd get on YouTube. That way I could look back at myself mm -hmm. and give my thoughts, my opinions and just everything. <clears throat> and I remember I was cussing a lot. I remember I, I talked to you about that. You know, yeah. once you and I met and, and we talked and I'm like, hey, Pastor, you know, so I'm, all, I'm cussing a lot, you know, and I just I didn't like the guy I was seeing. I, I didn't like it. And, and I've it, never heard you cuss. So I because I didn't know about your channel until the gunner fight. Right. Because that's when I when I was like, well, who's who's Cholo Trucker? Who's this? You know what I mean? But by that time, you were already doing like these commentaries and like really deep stuff. Like it wasn't just just dumb whatever talk. You know what I mean? It was it was some. Well, that's why I liked your channel, because it was very thought provoking. You know, so I don't know how your channel was before that. Yeah, no, man, I'll, I'll cuss right now. Um, gosh, darn it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just I, I I look back at at I wanted to see myself and I look yeah. back and I didn't like the guy I saw. And I'm like, you know what? I don't like that dude. When you see yourself back, yeah, and how you respond and your reaction to certain things that happen. Um and I saw how I was responding, I saw how I was reacting, and I thought I'm like this is what my sons are seeing, you know, wow. it, it, this is what my sons see, 
you know, on a daily basis from their their father, who's supposed to be the role model, who's supposed to teach them how to be a man. These are the two that I met, right? That me and Sharon met. I, I met two. I met two. Right. I I'm not sure you met my oldest. Okay. Son. I'm I'm not sure. Um, I think. Gosh, but you guys are I'm, a mix. You I'm guys are a mix. Who went up there with us? You and your you and your wife are a mixed family, correct? Yes, yes. So it was her son. It was her son and and my youngest. Son. Yeah, that's yes. right. Yes, yes. My oldest one. I'm not sure you met him yet. No, I haven't. Um, but yeah, that's 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 why I stuck around. That's why I came on YouTube, and it was really mm -hmm. just for about a year, and then. Uh, and, and I actually liked it. I actually fall in. I don't know if I should say fell in love with it, but I enjoyed doing it. And yeah. then, you know, I got to do certain opportunities that came my mm -hmm. way, got to meet you and you and I have become close friends since then. And it's, it's, it's been good. It's been good. Yeah. Well, I appreciate the fact that I, I know that you've been gone. I've been seeing a little friendly trash talk about this fight coming up and, and I'm just like, <laughs> it's hard for me to 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 be neutral because you are a very close friend of mine. And I'm just like, man, he better speak up or something. <laughs> and then it was funny. I actually laughed because um, I forgot who sent me the carton. I think Alfonso sent it to me. It was a little picture of the milk carton with your face on it. So has anybody seen Cholo Trucker? And it, it was just all in fun, you know. Um, yeah. But I will say this is that I, I was there the first fight. Um, I know a lot of things built up to that first fight. I know a lot of ways that it was, um, uh, that it was a good thing. I know a lot of things that weren't a good thing, but one of the things that I do want to say, say to whoever's watching this is the fact that, um, even though like people have nitpicked and stuff about you guys wearing the, 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 the mask, you and Gunner, remember that? The headgear. Yeah. Yeah. The headgear. Mm -hmm. Now here's the thing though, is regardless of what anyone wants to say at the end of the day, you fought with broken ribs mm. and you did not want to say anything because you, you already know, you know what I mean? How people will say, I don't know for whatever reasons why, but you didn't let anybody know until after the fact, but the fact that you went into that ring um, with uh, I don't know if it was broken or fractured, you know what? I think it was fractured rib. Uh, correct. Yeah, yeah, I had two fractured ribs. The only one I told about it was obviously my team and uh, Paul from LA Times because he was the guy, you know, running it. So, yeah. So, uh, but man, the fact that you still did it. And then, you know, I remember you telling me, man, I'm, I'm done. I'm never going to step in the ring again. Um, and uh, you had said, it's got to be a really good reason why I step in the ring again. I remember you said those exact words, actually. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you did the other challenge. I remember I, I, me and my wife supported you, and you went and swam from Alcatraz to uh, the beach there. And I was positive a shark ate you, man, because you weren't showing up. And because um, I don't know how many people swam that time. Yeah, Do you I remember? I, no, I don't. Like 50, 40? I don't know. There, there, was, there was quite a few 60? people. 60? It was a lot of people yeah. uh -huh. and people were arriving, obviously people that had done it before, mm -hmm. you know, and you didn't know all you had trained in was a, a an Olympic swimming pool, yeah. which is completely day and night compared to swimming in the ocean, mm -hmm. you know, and um, I was getting worried, man. <laughs> I was getting worried. But the fact that you did that shows that shows your heart, shows your determination, shows that you are not one that's afraid shows you are not out hiding in the last 40 days. It explains now where you have been. Um, I was surprised when I saw the flyer of the fight, you know, and I'm like, he's going to do it again. <laughs> so um, I don't know the brother that you're fighting. I, I have found out a little bit about him. He's actually, he lives in Stockton here where I live. Um, I've never heard of him. Uh, I went to his channel Seems like a really uh, respectful guy, nice guy. I, I, I'm I'm going to take it like he's just kind of playing, you know what I mean, with it because that's what that's what you do is you challenge each other and you build it up and whatnot. He seemed like a real respectful guy, um, but I don't know if you've seen his channel or anything about it. So what's what's going to happen on? Is it April twenty seventh? 
April 27th. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's I, really I, I fast. That, right. Yeah. I, I believe. It's yeah. There. That is really fast because usually people take months to build up, to train, to get ready for a fight. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden in, in a, like 30 days from now, you're going to be in the ring once again. Right. And, um, couple years older. Yeah. So the world wants to know what are your thoughts on, let me say it like this. First of all, why did you take on this fight? And second, why so fast? Um, why so fast is because time is of the essence. Um, I'm going to be busy, you know, the rest of the year. I, I got things that I really got to focus on. Uh, business wise, things that I really need to d- get done um, this year that I've been focusing on probably like 75, 80%, but never a full 100%. So yeah. um, I was uh, I was at the first fight that uh, Chicano Tube went ahead and did uh, with the content creator series of fighting. Uh, I was there to call the fight. Yeah. And I saw it and I said, ah, you know what, man, I, it might be cool <laughs> to get in there and, and mix it up, you know, one more time. Um, while I, while I still can, yes, I'm getting older. Um, I'm going to be 43 years old this year. I understand to a lot of people, they're like, well, that's not old, but to step into the boxing ring and do that, that yeah. is, kind of an older age to be doing something like that. Um, and I thought, eh, you know what? It's it's a different promotion. Not not to say that there was anything wrong with the other promotion mm-hmm. at all. You know, I, I, I stand by um, everything that happened there. And, um, the, you know, the speech that I gave after the fight, I hope that I still walk you know, that talk that of the the speech that I gave after that fight. And yeah. I try every day to walk that talk. Um, but, you know, this was uh, something going on and I saw it and I'm like, ah, man, if I, you know, I kind of want to do it, but I got to do it pretty fast, you know, yeah. because I don't want to be focusing on something and, doing this as well i can't i can't focus on 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 uh what i might have to be doing business wise so i i told uh i told mikey i said hey listen um it'll be cool to get back in there you know if you can find an opponent but it's got to be in either this month april or may the the sooner the better but yeah i cannot do it after that you know and you know people People say it's like, oh man, it's a quick, uh, it's quick. I don't think it's no. honestly, I don't think it's quick. If I if we schedule a fight, say four weeks in advance, well, both guys have four weeks to train, so I don't think it's really that. That's true. That's true. You know, you know it's it's not mm-hmm. like it is no know, disadvantage. Yeah, it's not like, you know, he has two months and I only have, you know, a few weeks. I mean, yeah. both guys have, I mean, heck, if we schedule a fight tomorrow, it's like, well, both of us, you know. Yeah, no, that makes it. And you and yeah. both of you, you, both of you seem, you know, fairly fit. And, you know, what I mean, and I know he he said I'd, I'd watched him. Alfonso, um, well, Alfonso and Cesar Puebla, he uh, had a great conversation with him. I don't know if you had a chance to watch that or not, but um and, you know, he does running. He does a little bit of cycling. He mentioned, um, I forgot what else he said and then whatnot. And it's going to be interesting. You know what? I, I tell you what I like about it. What I'm excited about is the fact that when you fought Gunner, you guys were a little, the weight was a little different. It was different. And so you, this fight, it's more matching. It's more matching. You know what I mean? And uh, I'm just really, I'm, I'm hoping for a good, healthy, friendly fight at the same time, you know what I mean? That you fight to win, that he fights to win, you know, and, and that's it. And, and it doesn't turn to nothing else, you know, because it shouldn't, you know, because this is, this, this should be a, a respectable sport, you know what I mean? And I, I, and I know, I know you and I know who you are. So I know that you're going to do that too. And I've heard from people, there's even somebody right now on the, um, 
uh, on the um, comments saying he's a very respectful individual. You know what I mean? So that's cool. You know, that's cool. And um, uh, I'm excited about it. I want to mention Mikey, though. Um, when he first did that other fight and was announcing it, because there's been a lot of fights in the air over, ever since the Gunner fight. Mm-hmm. Everybody was challenging, challenging everybody, and nothing ever happened. You know, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> nothing ever happened, and and for whatever reason, and I'm sure they wanted it to happen, but you know, it's hard. It's there's a lot of um, moving pieces in something to make something like this happen. You know, and I think a lot of people don't realize it. They think it's just oh, I'm going to challenge you, and you're going to challenge me, and and that's it. And then we talk about each other on YouTube, and but there's a lot of moving pieces to make it happen. You know, so. I'm sure some of them had more effort than others, but nevertheless, the fact that Mikey made it happen with that last fight um, with the two individuals that you, um, that you were out there uh, helping uh, announce, you know, and the, I'm going to be honest, the thought went in my head that you're going to get that bug when you see somebody in the ring. Is that what happened? <laughs> Uh, so, you know, somewhat, somewhat, I, I was there and saw it happen and it's okay, cool. You know, and I do, you know, I, I do want to call fights. I enjoy calling fights. Yeah. Um, that's actually what I really want to be doing. Um, but seeing that I'm like, you know what, man, if, if we can, if we can make something happen in this, in this time, you know, um, you know, let's let's go ahead and do it because you know the rest yeah. of the year is going to be pretty rough. And I, you know, I was already kind of thinking that if it doesn't happen within this time, yeah, uh, then you know, so be it. It, it wasn't uh, it yeah. wasn't meant to be. So you know, well, if you if you okay. like announcing, you know, Buzz said he's going to send you back to announcing. <laughs> <laughs> he's actually he's he's actually on the on the comment man he said it's all love and respect salute to both of you he will see you soon troll trucker so he's, oh he's, he's on the comments okay yeah, he just jumped I, you, on. Know, you know funny funny thing man um i him and i have never talked we've never yeah. even even since all this yeah him and i have never talked ever you know, I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't think we have, um, but um, yeah, it's, it's a, it's a little odd that even now mm-hmm. with the agreement that, you know, everything is signed and we're, we're going to be meeting in the ring. It's, it's a little odd. It's a little strange. Um, just yeah. knowing that it's a guy that I've never, ever talked to or anything like that. But if anybody is watching this live, him and I will be both at the same time over on Chicano tube this Wednesday. So that, that's, that should be interesting. All right. All right. That is going to be good. So you're going to be on a, uh, on one of these zoom type of calls or in person? No, no, it, it, it'll be a uh, like stream yard, right? Yeah. It'll be stream yard. Yeah. Oh, that'll be interesting. Yeah. So yeah, that, that'll well, be the first time that him and I actually, um, yeah, me, we've, we've never yeah. done that. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. You know, I, I remember thinking, um, I was talking to brother Alfonso and I was telling him how, I think I was talking to Paul too, how, uh, Mikey's doing this. And I said, you know what? He, um, when he's doing these, these fights and stuff, he he's, he's in his lane, man. He's in his, he's in his, uh, in his habitat, you know, and I could see him, he gets excited about it and thrives for it. And I think that if anybody's going to make this happen for these YouTube fights, I, I think it's him, you know, he, he just has it in him. He, he has that, that talk he has that that persona you know to make these fights happen and i remember when when uh, you had called me say that you were going to be announcing on that last fight and i'm like that's even perfect because i know how much you love the sport of boxing too and a rocky fan <laughs> yeah yeah always uh always inspirational there with rocky yeah my, mikey uh you know he's he's a he's a businessman yeah he's 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 definitely um a businessman so when he went ahead and made it happen um and he asked me to help out or to do commentary i'm like yeah man let's uh let's do it i'm i'm down 100 yeah. percent. so now i'm i find myself in the ring so it's gonna be a little bit different but um yeah it's just um it, it's it's this time that it, th- this is the hard part 
right here for me because it's like just waiting just yeah. waiting like honestly i just wanted to hurry up and happen right because every day seems like a week it's just waiting and waiting and hurry up and waiting and and um it's like only something can go wrong from here that's that's kind of the way i see it like only something can go wrong from here only yeah you can roll an ankle you can pull a muscle you can oh, i see what you mean you know you can get a gash or you know you can do something hurt yourself at work or something you know yeah. that's the only that's the fear that i have it's like gosh man if it could just happen like this if it could just happen tomorrow because of, you know this time just waiting it's like only something wrong can happen yeah so, you know uh, hopefully not but um yeah, hopefully uh, we can uh, make this happen. Well, we are going to make this happen. So. so so what is Cholo Trucker doing that he's going to prep for this fight? <laughs> um, well, first of all, I, you mentioned uh, Brother Alfonso. I want to give a big shout out to Brother Alfonso, man. That's my guy right there. Um, we, him and I, we're going to be doing some stuff uh, together as well, doing some collabs as well. Um I am kind of doing a little bit more on my own. Um, not because I don't, uh, shout outs to uh, Arturo, the G unit, the guards of mm. family and everything, but my schedule is just a little bit different. Yeah. So I find myself on the road like I am now. I'm in the hotel room. Um, I just, do what I can, when I can, how I can. Yeah. Um, I, yeah. I remember uh, you were releasing a few videos of your workouts and stuff before with the gunner fight. Right. Uh, I remember you were showing videos of the jumping rope, I think running. I, I forgot. You just did a few little videos here and there doing that. And then. Um, and I stopped. I, I, I stopped when I, when I got injured, when I, when they, uh, when I got uh, my ribs fractured, I had stopped doing those videos because we had to alter the way um the way i trained so yeah it was more of like rehabilitation training yeah and um it just it, it wasn't fun so so if somebody is on here saying oh man it's going to be a repeat of the gunner and 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 cholo fight what's going to be different obviously you had broken ribs during that fight right. what's going to be different about this one well, I mean, the gloves are smaller. Uh, I like mm -hmm. that. There's no headgear. Um, I'm gonna be honest. I I don't know all the. I don't know all the rules. To tell you the truth, uh, I don't know um, everything that's going through with it. But uh, what's gonna be different with this one? Well, I'm hoping to get in there healthy. That's that's number one right there. And uh, that because that changes the game. I mean, that changes the game. Having two fractured ribs, going into a fight with two fractured ribs, changed everything. I don't want to oversell it and say that you would have seen some sort of Floyd Mayweather Jr. in there against Gunner <laughs> or anything of that sort. But yeah, just know when you have fractured ribs, it's not just the day of the fight. Um, to go to sleep, I had to sleep sitting up because you can't lay down. You aggravate the ribs. You can't re your mobility. Um, yeah. You don't really have it. Um, you can't any deep breath. You know, just just hurts and aggravates the ribs. So, um, but again, you know, I don't want to say like oh man if i wasn't for the broken ribs it would have yeah. been a completely different story or anything of that sort so um what's going to be different well i mean everyone's just going to have to tune in to to see <laughs> you know that's what's yeah. going to be different i mean look the, the opponent's different yeah you know the opponent's different the opponent from what my understanding is buzz he's uh he's a little bit more my size so yeah. the opponent's going to be different um, I'm sure the movement around the ring is probably going to be a little bit faster. It's going to be a little bit more <clears throat> high pace. Um, yeah. I believe he's, I, 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 
he's younger than I am. So a few years. He, he's he's not really. I originally I thought he was a lot younger. Mm-hmm. He's not that much. I think he's in his mid thirties. Okay. Yeah, maybe I think thirty-seven, something like I forgot. I know he said it on Alfonso's. Uh, so I, I mean, it's it's a pretty good match, bro. Mm-hmm. It's a pretty good match, you know. And um, my thing is, is I just wanna, I want Mikey to continue to do this. I will continue to support it as long as it doesn't become, you know, with the whole gangs and stuff. You know what I mean? Like as long as it stays what it should be, you know, with integrity. And um, I know that. Um, I was invited. I was invited to the last one, but I wasn't able to make it. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to make this one either, you know, but I did watch it, you know, the last fight. And one thing I noticed about that last fight, the moment the bell rang, they went at it like two gorillas, like, like they had, (laughs) you know, and, um, and there was no strategy. There was no body shots. There was, you know I mean? It was just like, boom, you know? And, uh, I'm 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 hoping to see more strategy as a as a as a pain customer that I'm going to be, mm. you know. I mean, obviously, we want to be entertained. We want to. I want to see more strategy. I want to see more. But like you said, you guys aren't professional fighters. You know, you're not professional fighters, and you're going in there and and doing this, and it's going to be interesting. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I was there for. You know, calling that fight and uh, shout outs to both of those guys. Um, I don't. Yeah. I, I enjoyed you know, it. I enjoyed yeah, it. But. I don't look. I, I don't. I don't look down on anybody that decides to go in there. Whatever skills they have, whatever skills yeah. they do not have, as long as you go in there and you give it everything you got, at least yeah. for me personally, I tip my cap to you. If it looks sloppy, if it's. Yeah you know, completely messy and, and, you know, you got no skills, not saying that they didn't. I personally, I don't care about that. I just care. Do you go in there and do you give it everything you got? Win, yeah. lose. I don't care. Did you give it everything you had? If you did, and I was able to see that, I tip my cap to you, man. Yeah. My thing is this, is that I give props to them for doing it. Uh, I never felt like, what was it? $25, 24 99 or something like that. Yeah. And um, to me, it was worth it because it's, it's to something good. That's growing because in all honesty, you can use that 25 in McDonald's really fast. And for people to say, Oh man, I, I wanted to get the fight, but I can't afford it. You know, the majority of people saying that said that, and then they went through a Starbucks drive through you know? <laughs> and so like, I think this is a great thing that you guys are doing, that you guys are building. These are the building blocks of that, you know, and um, I think it's just uh, it's just awesome. It's just great. You know, I know that that Buzz, he's here from Stockton. You know, Stockton has some fighters come out of Stockton, man. <laughs> so uh, I'm just, you know, that's a lot. That's a lot of pressure on him, I think. You know, of that, because just uh, the fact that a lot of uh, big fighters come out of Stockton. So I'm sure that's pressure that he's starting to feel now. You know, um, what do you what do you say to that? Yeah, I I think. um, I I think we both. I I, again, I'm, I'm not sure what he's getting, but I think the negativity always sticks out. You know, I'm sure he is getting that. I'm going to beat him. Yeah. And I have been getting that he's going to beat me. And that always, you know, sticks out. Yeah, I've been getting support as well. I'm sure he's been getting support as well. But, you know, it's it's it's, it's funny because um, every time these things happen, I hear both fighters say like, oh, everyone's saying he's going to knock me out. Everyone's saying he's going to knock me out. And then I hear the other fighters say, everyone's saying he's going to knock me out. Everyone's saying he's going to knock me out. So it's like, is it everybody? Is it selective mm-hmm. hearing? Because yeah, yeah I, I, you know, I'm sure he's getting that. You know, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna whoop him, and I'm, I'm getting it that he's gonna whoop me. You know, that he's training <laughs> with, uh, that he's training with professionals. Mm-hmm. That he's at the, uh, I believe, is the Nate Diaz camp, and mm-hmm. uh, you know, that's something to take into consideration yeah. as well. You know, don't think that that doesn't creep into my mind. Where it's like, wow, you know, this guy's over there you know, uh, really doing it up, you know, not yeah. to say that I'm not, but, 
you know, I'm out here on the road doing what I can. Yeah. Well, my understanding too is the fact that you have, you have been in the ring. Um, He hasn't. So that's also going to weigh into it also, because man, you know, you, you've never done something. And um, I think I would think that was, that'd be hard. You know, I remember fighting my cousin just in the front yard uh, and I was young. I was, I think we're teenagers, 17 years old or whatever. And we had those big heavy gloves, you know, and man, after three minutes at 17 years old, I was only like 130 pounds and I got tired. I remember my hands felt like they were 50 pound weights, you know, cause we just went at it. We just went crazy. <laughs> and um, so that's the only time I've ever actually fought with, with gloves on. And that was just messing around with my cousin and man. So anybody who steps in the ring, it is, it is so easy to watch, but yeah. man, when you're in there, whoo. <laughs> faster everybody wants to know who won that fight between you and your cousin you know what i don't remember i just remember we were both we <laughs> both ended up laughing because we couldn't breathe okay you know we were just, we just started cracking up because we had other cousins there it mm. was a bunch i don't know if it was a holiday you know how on holidays all the cousins get together mm. and um i just remember i i we were we started laughing because we couldn't swing anymore and then it just everybody cracked up and i don't think we tried going to somebody won okay if we would have if we would have if one of us would have won like probably my dad or my uncle would have spanked us or so <laughs> <laughs> yeah no i mean i you know as teenagers we used to you know just go at it as well and there was really no winner no loser you know uh you just go at it and it was bare fists you know yeah. for the most part you would just go body and chest but then somebody would slip a punch it grazed somebody in the chin so then the other one would kind of slip then a you punch, get mad right yeah. and next thing you know you're right there you're, you're pretty much getting down <laughs> with your friend with your yeah. home and stuff like that so you know looking back at all those days and everything and um it, it was uh, it was it was quite the way to grow up. It was quite a different time, you know. I don't really see that too much today. So we got somebody, a uh, bread of life. I think that's a brother from Davis by or out uh, by Sacramento. He says, "I want to see a KO." Mm. Okay. <laughs> I don't okay. know who he wants I, to see knocked out. He didn't yeah. say. <laughs> <laughs> look, I mean, look. I'll, I'll I'll go ahead and I'll say this. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll say this. Um, you you know me, Pastor. I, I can't come on and start smack talking and bad mouthing somebody. I, I can't, yeah. you know, it's it's not me, it's not in my nature. I, I just you know, sorry for everybody who really wants a lot of smack talk and you know, talk about somebody's mom or I'm gonna do this, or I <laughs> yeah. that's not the spence on huh? that that's not me. However, however, I know. We're going in there for a fight. We're not going in there to give hugs and kisses to each other. We're going in there to, you know, uh, throw punches. And yeah. that's what I'm going to do. You know, um, I'm sure, look, he's getting ready. He's, like I said, he's training from what I understand. I I, I hope I'm not wrong. But from what I understand, he's training with uh, with the Nate Diaz, with Nate Diaz in, in their camp and everything like that. So, you know, he's not coming to, you know, just some sort of friendly little fight and let's just, you know, tip tap on each other. And then at the end, it's all good. Like, no, he's, he's, he's coming to throw some punches, man, and really get me out of there. I got to come with the same intentions. So even though you guys are probably not going to see me at least, do a lot of smack talking. It just it it'd be fake of me to do so. Um, I'm not going there, you know, just looking out for his well-being while we're in the ring. If he's over there trying to take my head off, I gotta be there to do the same thing. And that's yeah. what I'm training for as well. You know, obviously, you know, we don't want to see anybody leaving a stretcher. Uh, I don't want to be yeah. the one to leave in a stretcher. Uh, but, but I, I do look up. Uh, look, I do want a good fight. Yeah, and I'll be real with everybody. I, I do want there to be blood. I want there to be some of his blood, and I, 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 I wouldn't mind bleeding a little as well. He's got to get the blood out of me. 
I mean, he's he, he's got to get the blood out of me. I'm not going to punch myself so I could bleed yeah. it. But just imagine, you know, I mean, years down the road, years down the road to say like, hey, I was in a good competitive fight. I in a good bloody bled. fight. Yeah, you know, we we both bled. Um, it was uh, it, it was it was rough. It was tough. Yeah. It's hard in there. I don't want to just go in there and it just be just one sided, um, whether it's for me or him, especially if it's for him. I don't want to yeah. be just super one sided where I just get, you know, whooped. But I don't I I wouldn't be that happy if I just go in there and some way, somehow it just becomes some super easy fight. Uh, where I'm able to beat them in 30 seconds. That's I, I want there to be some good exchanges. I want there to be, I want to go back and forth. I want to bleed a little bit. I want him to be bleed a little bit. I want both of us to be, you know, healthy enough at the end of the fight, whether there's a knockout or not. Hopefully, you know, we'll see. Yeah. Happens. But we're both going in there to actually fight. So, um, so yeah, you know, let's do it. Yeah. So somebody's asking if he is a YouTuber. Yeah. Uh, Buzz is a YouTuber. I'm trying to say his channel. He just, he was just on here. I'm not sure if he's on here still, but um, where is it at? I had it right here. If somebody else knows it, if they can let me know. I think it's, uh, I think it's called recall with Buzz. Oh yeah, recall with Buzz, I believe. Who for somebody that wants to know? Yeah, he. Had, oh yeah, Yard Recall. Yard Recall with Yard Buzz recall. is his YouTube channel. Yard recall. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Yeah, and I believe he's thirty-seven years old. Some they were asking his age also. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So there's some people watching, man, and, and you know, and uh, I just think that um, this is a this is a, <laughs> this is a good one. Uh, I get I get more nervous about your wife. She gets <laughs> she gets she gets riled up in these. <laughs> it's uh it it's been um it's been quite the roller coaster ride uh <laughs> with her. She doesn't want me to do this, you know. Um, but it, it, but in all fairness, she never wants you to do the challenges. Right, 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 <laughs> right. She's uh, she's all like, "Look, when they hit you, they hit me." Yeah, you know. Um, she doesn't want me to do this, but she's supporting me because she knows if I didn't, you know, if I didn't do it because she didn't want me to do it. Yeah, it just uh, it, it wasn't going to end up good. You know, it'd be something and and, and time is of the essence. You know, I'm yeah. like 43 years old. I mean, how much longer do I have to to really do something like this? So, you know, she's supporting. And, and, and by the way, I want to make it clear. She really is supporting. But uh, if she had it her way, she she'd rather not this. Uh, yeah happen but uh, i don't think they understand when you say that she supports you she supports you mm -hmm. like crazy like when you didn't show up in the beach i thought she was gonna jump in that water and look for you <laughs> and then with the whole <laughs> with the gunner fight i i me and sharon were laughing man because we didn't know her at that time you know we were just getting to know her but i'm surprised she didn't jump in the ring <laughs> So yeah, we yeah she has your full support and uh yeah man we 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 love her very much too you know and uh got to know her over the last few times that we hung out and fellowshiped and whatnot and and I and I really hope to to um um meet uh Buzz I mean there's no reason for me not to meet him or know him you know and uh, I extend uh, my arms open to him I'm right here in Stockton I pastor a church I don't know if he believes in God or not you know but um. I'm here, you know, I'm going to make myself available anytime, anytime to anybody, you know, even those that are watching and, and you, a lot of them know, man, that if they really, truly reach out to me, uh, I'm going to be there to the best of my ability, especially if it's somebody that wants to, um, you know, get closer to God, you know, and get closer and, and, and just mentorship or just ask questions, you know, I'm, I'm here. I'm here for, for both of you, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I would, uh, I concur. I mean, you're you're available to the people. You make yourself available to the people. So, I definitely um, concur. Hopefully, Buzz can link up with you. Um, 
there in uh, in Stockton sometime. Yeah, so, but he uh, probably he probably won't want to meet till after because he think he'll think I'm a spy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I have a, a flip, my my brother has these prescription glasses and it has like a little camera right here. Uh -huh. Yeah, maybe he'll think I have uh, one of those and <laughs> getting all the secrets. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. No, so, but... uh, you know, hopefully, um, hopefully it turns out to be a good fight, man. I, yeah. I'm really hoping it's a good fight. Uh, I really want it to be uh, a good fight. Um, when, you know, win, lose, or draw, I just really want it to be a good fight, man. Yeah. I want both of us to leave it all in the ring. I want both of us to. Yeah, you know, at the end of it, just say like, "Damn, you know, we gave it everything we had," mm -hmm. and you know, whoever gets the victory gets the victory. But as long as we gave it everything we had, and you brought out the best out of me, I brought out the best out of you. That's that's kind of what I'm uh, what I'm hoping for. And like I said, I hope both of us bleed. I, I, mm -hmm. For one reason or another, I I, I do. I, I hope both of us yeah. bleed because I'm looking at looking at it more down the line. Um, when I'm you know, I got another granddaughter on the way. You know, to say like, hey, look, I was in this fight, and yeah. you know, damn, look, we gave it everything we had, and it was a little yeah. brutal. And whether I came out with the win or not, look, man, we pushed each other to the limit, you know. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully that's what uh, what takes place. So, well, I mean, everything, uh, you know. I'm apologizing now because we can't attend the fight because we have some things going on, and um, you know, we're pastoring a church, man, and it's a. Uh, Man, you should have seen how it was yesterday. We had to have um, like forty overflow chairs in the lobby. You know, it was so packed out. It was beautiful, you know, and, um, you know, but I'm, I'm apologizing to you and your wife now because you already know, man, we're always there to support everything that you do. I really um, am kicking myself because I want to be at the fight. You know what I mean? And I know the day of the fight, I'm going to be really sad because I want to be there, you know, but nevertheless, our our, our heart is, is with uh, both of you, both of the fighters, you know, because... Uh, you know, we know it's just a sport and whatnot, but we um, we're gonna be praying for safety. We don't. You said you want blood, but I don't. I don't want no one to get hurt really bad. I don't want no broken ribs. I don't want you know nothing crazy like that to happen to e either of you. Even though I, I don't know him, uh, it's just in my nature. You know, I'm gonna be praying for both of you for a good good fight. Good, uh, you know, for people to be entertained, for people to enjoy it, and for it to be a great fight. And I'm really excited to be able to i will be able to watch it but I, unfortunately i won't be able to be there because it's um, a couple hours away from me and it's just i'm not able to you know um my last question is uh regardless of what happens in this fight whether he punches you into retirement or you go on your own are you going to continue to um uh, uh be an announcer announce at future fights because i know this is the beginning for mikey and what he's doing at, at uh in his channel. If Mikey is open to having me to announce fights, um, yeah, absolutely. As you know, as long as it makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Um, but, you know, he has certain dates available. I can't always guarantee that I can make those dates, especially if it's, especially if it's a you know a nice long drive uh, mm. for me. Um, you know, like for, you know, for this fight, I'm going to be driving a good six hours uh, yeah. to get there. So if, if it makes sense, then, uh, yeah, definitely. If you would have me, um, and if I can make those dates, uh, I would, uh, yeah. like to, yeah, yeah, for sure. And well, uh, from what I understand, uh, with this fight between Buzz and I, there will be an undercard. That's my understanding. That's that's uh, what I heard too. Yeah, don't hold me to that. I have nothing to do with that whatsoever. But yeah, understand there should be about two fights um, with non YouTubers. Nice, nice. Well, hope don't uh, Mike don't get crazy ideas and try to have fights with pastors against pastors. <laughs> uh, I will kindly decline. 
<laughs> That'd be something, Pastor. I will That'd stay in my something. lane behind the pulpit and punch the devil every Sunday. <laughs> 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 so but i do hope that um i'll be i'll be watching that fight i'll be supporting um i will be talking about it as we build up i know uh, alfonso's gonna be announcing mm. he so he's gonna take your seat um i'm excited about that man because I'm, uh, alfonso has a way with words too he hypes it up you know what i mean he hypes he, he's he's uh, I'm, I'm i'm not surprised that mikey asked him you know i Brother Alfonso is slowly becoming one of the coolest guys on YouTube, man. Right. He's, he's got the shades on. He's got the American flag, the California flag, the blood in, blood out, the, you know, <laughs> Si Se Puede t-shirts. He's got the, you know, um, uh, his book. I mean, uh, he's, he's slowly, he's got the, he's got the vibe down, man. Whenever I watch yeah. him, I watched him this morning for the, uh, the podcast they did last night. I go to sleep yeah. early. Um, for those who don't know, I, I I wake up like at two in the morning to go to work. I'm a trucker, so and we work 12, 14 hour days. That's why I say, what am I doing to get ready for the fight? Whatever I can, whenever I can, however yeah. I can. Um, but I watched him and he's sitting there, you know, what's on the menu today? Mm -hmm. This is on the main. He, he's slowly becoming the coolest guy on YouTube, man. Shout out to well, Alfonso. I love that guy. Yeah, apparently House of Rest is a breeding ground for YouTubers because not only am I there, mm -hmm. you got Alfonso there every Sunday. You have Bean Loak there every Sunday with his family. So that's three YouTubers and one in one church. And you're watching virtually. So that's actually four. Mm -hmm. I know Paul chimes in sometimes once in a while, you know. So um and we got a podcast room there that I hardly use, you know, so hopefully we get to uh, use it a lot more often. I, I got to make my way up there, Pastor, so we could use that room again. I really enjoyed being in that podcast room. Yeah, it's it's fun. Uh, um, I, I, I just don't want to go in there for no reason. Huh? I, I, I'll, I'll tell you this. After being in that podcast room, we did a podcast together, right, with, with yeah. Paul and Brother Alfonso. We left. And I didn't even bring up the podcast room, but my beautiful, crazy local wife says, like, you need a podcast room. And I'm like, wow. Yeah. So. No, it's cool to have because I can actually sit six people if I need to, you know what I mean? And that's, that's a perfect place. I don't do a lot of things in there um, because by myself, because I feel weird. I feel, I'm just like, what am I doing? You know, I want to have more conversations with more people. And, um, but it, I do want to use that room more often, you know, but I think that's pretty much it, man. I, I appreciate you giving me the exclusive. So you're not missing. We can throw the milk carton away. And I, uh, I, huh? I never got, a, I, I never got a chance to see the milk carton. Can you shoot me a, <laughs> shoot, shoot me a picture of it? That, that I would like to. Um... All right, Buzz. He said, he said he'll go in there and do one after the fight. I've never, uh, I've, I never got a chance to see the milk carton since I've been, um, since I've been off, but. I'm uh, trying to see it. It was, Alf maybe Alfonso, Alfonso, where'd you get it from? Maybe he made it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that'd be pretty cool to, uh, to have. You can shoot it to me later, but. Yeah. But no, Pastor, mm -hmm. um, thank you so much. Oh man, it's too bright. Yeah. If you turn it sideways, it should show. <laughs> Wait. If you turn it, there. <laughs> that is cool, man. That is freedom. Man. Who did that? Unless it was, oh, Yard Recall did it. I think. <laughs> oh, Buzz did it. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> uh. <laughs> well, you know what? I will be seeing him on Wednesday. If you guys want to tap in, him and I, we've never, ever, ever talked ever before for the first time ever. Him and I uh, will go one on one with words. Uh, before wow. we go one on one in the ring. So if you guys want to check out uh, Chicano Tube this Wednesday, if you guys are watching this live. All right. Did you do that bike ride? That long one? I've uh, I've been running. Yeah. No, that one you yeah. said you were gonna. Yes. Yes. The, How many the, miles the, was that? LA, yeah, the LA Marathon bike ride. Yeah. Yeah. You know. You know what's sad about that? 
is I forgot to turn on Strava. No. I did. I forgot to turn on Strava because uh, I was trying to find a meeting place where they were all meeting at. Yeah. So I could turn it on from there. You forgot. But no, there was no meeting spot. It was oh. just going. I, I will be dropping that video. I will be dropping that video. Okay. But I just didn't turn on well, Strava. And it got pretty cold at one point. It got, it got <laughs> hey, your, re re your recall says, thank you for finding them. <laughs> <laughs> now, Strava, remember, the saying is, if it's not on Strava, it didn't happen. Oh gosh, I got video <laughs> footage. I got video footage. Okay. I <laughs> all right. I did it. Well, I did. Uh, it, but I'm gonna let you go. Uh, God bless you guys. Everybody that's watching and tuning in. Um, if um, if you're not subscribed to this channel, I want to start adding content. Actually, you're the one that always tells me you got to add more stuff in your David Rocha channel. You know, so um, I will be. If you check out this channel after, there's a lot of I, I do a lot of art. As you can see, all those paintings back there. I did those paintings. Sometimes I'll review a lot of my old music um, and then interviews like this. That way I have an opportunity to be able to talk to people, have conversations with people. And uh, so I can build this channel up for that because we have the church one. Mm -hmm. That one has, you know, sermons, Bible studies, devotionals, but I don't want to mix it up. So I, this is more personal to me. And uh, this is the kind of stuff you like. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Your channel, brother, uh, Cholo, can you want to, you know, any last words? Yeah, yeah, I'm on uh, I'm on Trollo Trucker. Uh, that's my channel. I'm back now. I just took time off for uh, like I said the the Lent. I'm not Catholic, but I just uh, it just came to me to give it up for for that time being. But no, I'm back. And um, no, I could ask for everybody who tapped in tonight or watches this later on. And um, Buzz, I'll be seeing you this Wednesday, man. Looking forward to it. See, uh, see what we could get, see what we could get going, Pastor. Yeah. It's always a pleasure. Thank you so much for having me on. Yeah, of course. I know you and I. You know, we people may not know, but you and I keep in close contact. Yeah. And uh, when this was coming on, I told you like, yeah, I no problem. I would jump on your channel first and foremost, and we can go ahead and uh, and talk about this. So, thank you so much for having me on, Pastor. It's a, yeah, no, no. Pleasure. Yeah, I appreciate it. I'm pretty sure Yard Recall with Buzz would appreciate any subscriptions. Also, if you want to go to his channel, I know that he has uh, some videos of showing himself doing some of the workouts that he's doing, building up to this fight. So I know a lot of you are wondering, like, who who's this Buzz? I, you might be able to click on his name and subscribe to his channel. So um, anyways, guys, God bless you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, brother. I appreciate your time. And uh, we'll be talking to you and seeing you soon. All right. Thank you very much, Pastor. Have a good night. All right.